Hello and welcome to my non-edited knitting videos. I'm going to teach you in this video how to knit. Woohoo! So to knit you're going to have to have cast on stitches which means you're going to have to watch my other video about how to cast on or have somebody come to your house and cast on for you. Um, or walk into any knitting store and just look pitiful and they'll do it but it's probably better that you learn to cast things on so you don't walk around like a little puppy looking for someone to help you. So you're ready to go. We're ready to knit. And what we're going to do is the way that I knit. And I taught myself to knit by watching YouTube videos like this. So I'm sorry, but this is the way I do it. Here we go. What I do is a combination of a bunch of stuff. But I think of it as kind of a lever. And there's a really fancy knitting celebrity that calls her way lever knitting. And um, her name's Stephanie Pearl McBee. And she's a goddess that I would love to meet. But... Until I do, I'm just going to call mine uh, the way I did dirty knitting, and we'll go with that. Um, so, these are, as my husband would call them, the loops. What you're going to do is you're going to stick the loop through the hole. I'm Hi, Sarah. I'm making a video right now. Okay, so you're going to stick your stick, <laughs> your needle, through the loop from right to left, back to front. You're going away from your body. Purling is going towards your, body, your hand. Go away from your hand. And I like to keep mine kind of, not 90 degrees, but pretty much up and down. I barely hold on to this needle at all. Now I'm going to need this yarn to have some tension in it. So what I do is I put the yarn around my middle finger. So my middle finger is like sticking out. So you're like, oh. You know, giving you the finger, but here are the that one's free to give the finger, but the others are trapped. I don't know how you want to think about it. Some people wrap their pinky around it, and occasionally I do that, but then it gets too tight, and I don't really pay much attention. It doesn't even matter. All that matters is that you have some tension in this inch right here that stays pretty consistent. Because what you're going to do is stick your needle in, you're going to make this piece of yarn go up and then between the two needles. So it's, it's not making like a fancy loop. It's just going up and between. Up a doop 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 a doop. That fast. So you go up and down. And then you go take this needle and pull it up and back. Got it? Okay. So now you're going to do it again. You're going to go through the, the hole. You take... The string you go up between and the needle goes up and back so up between up back and off and so if you want to make it easier on yourself go top closer to the tips of the needles up between up back and off if you hold your needles this way you know it's not going to happen it's not going to fall off so you don't have to worry about being up near the tip Oh, uh, in, up, between, and off. In, up, between, and off. Now some people just actually, sometimes I find myself actually just moving this needle up and back. Down. Like I don't even stick this needle through. I just put the loop where it's supposed to go. So the loop's going to go here, back, and off. Alright, I'm going to do it one more time slower because my friend says that knitters on the internet, they just go really fast in the middle. So here we go. Do, do, do. Alright, they're going to go in, up, between, oh, slow motion, down, up, and off. One more time. Down, up, down, off. Up, down, <laughs> around. You got it. Now, see, once you get this going, you can go pretty fast. Oh, your needles can fall off. Now, see what happened? My yarn fell off. Do I care? No, I'm just going to stick it back on. It's not the end of the world. Did this stitch get made? No, so I'm just going to stick it back to where it started. It's not the right way now. I want it to tip sort of slightly the other way, so I'm going to just fix it. It's not that hard. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Knitting is easy. And if it's not easy, then it's not fun. Then, you know, just relax. It'll be more fun. You're supposed to make mistakes. There's no perfectionism in knitting. Says me, the perfectionist. 
of all time. But I'm going to show one more row of this and then I'm done with this knitting. And we're going to learn how to purl in the next video. So it's going to be very exciting and I hope that you watch that. Down, up, and off. You can even do it without looking at it after a while. You don't even need to hold the needle, but you can brace it against something. Some people do that. Me, I like to kind of let it dangle and just sort of guide it with my thumb. Um, but there you go. So now you know how to knit. And if you know how to knit, you know how to do half the stuff that you're ever going to need to do in a knitting pattern. You can learn how to purl. And you're pretty well set. Everything's just a variation of that. It's like once you learn to add and subtract, it's all variations of that, right? Okay, thank you. Um, once upon a time, they um, gave me this nickname, the Dirty Knitter, at a women's conference. I'm a woman who didn't like me very much, and my friends and I thought it was so funny that I kind of kept it. So you can find all my knitting videos on that Facebook page, along with uh, very, very bad knitting jokes and humorous stuff that you might find on the Internet and extremely terribly bad patterns, mostly from the 70s that just are too funny not to not to share. So you'll see those too. Um, so I hope that you check out the page and uh, hope you learn how to knit. It's exciting and you can, you can have a lot of fun. And it does not take that long. And you can do it when you watch TV. So you do have time to do it because I know you all watch TV. All right. Thanks.